All right, guys, here we have our 1999 Cadillac Escalade. Uh, it's about equivalent to your um, average Chevy Tahoe. Um, we got this U joint back here. It's bad, um, so we're gonna be we're gonna be replacing that here. First thing you want to start off with is you're gonna remove these bolts, obviously. That side, and on that side, and on that side. And what we're gonna do here um, to make your job a little bit easier before we start, is we're actually gonna mark um, each bolt where they go because sometimes, because they're rusted out, they're kind of threaded to their own holes. So we're just gonna mark them all that way, you know exactly where they go, and we'll have no trouble putting the new ones or putting them back in, so. All right, basically what I did here is I marked it as uh, B for bottom. Um, and so I marked this bolt as B, B2. Uh, that one's B1. Come around here, that one's T for top, uh, that one's T2, and the top one is T1. So uh, you really can do it any way you want. You could just mark them each letter, whatever, uh, just so long as you know where they're at, uh, it just helps for screwing them back in. Uh, some of these, you actually have to use an open end wrench. As you can see on this drive shaft, it, drive shaft it actually tapers uh, right here and it gets smaller and they probably did that so it's easy to remove it, which is really helpful. So we're just gonna remove all those and go from there. For this one, it's a 7 16 so that's what we're gonna be using. Right, decent. Keep it in that clip. Right, so normally on these, they usually pop right out uh, real easily. Um, but the thing is on this one, there's a retaining clip. You can see it right there and right here. It's a, like a half moon clip. Uh, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to take this screwdriver, put it up on that clip and then pound it with a hammer. We'll see if that works. All right guys, we got a retaining clip out right here. As you can see, it was clipped on like that. I did some pounding with the screwdriver um, and a little bit of wedging, and eventually I got it to pop off. So we're just gonna do the same thing with the other side. Uh, you can see it's right there. It's kinda hard to see because it's all caked up, but we're gonna get the other one off too. Pretty tough, but a lot of pounding. I think I kind of got it loose. Do a little bit of more pounding here. Right, I think I popped it loose. This one was really in there. At least I got it loose on one side. Looks like we got it out. There we go. All right, now that we got it off of that part there, just wanna push it forward towards the front end of the vehicle. And you wanna pull it out of the transfer case. Just like that. Then you got your drive shaft out. All right, as you can see on this one, uh, it goes this way. It's really stiff though, it should not be like that. Um, it goes this way, but when I try to pull it up, give it all my might and won't even move up. So that is not good. It's shot. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna grind this off. Uh, didn't really seem want to seem to want to come off. Um, 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind all of it off. We got this uh, grinder here. Got it from your local Harbor Freight. Uh, it's about like 15 bucks, pretty cheap. Uh, 10 bucks for a pack of, uh, I'd say about 10 grinder blades, but we're just gonna cut through this and we're gonna do that on each side. And then on the other piece, we're gonna do it on that too. And then we'll pound it out, so. Be careful not to get this uh, over here. So you just wanna make sure you're getting just you joint. All right, as you can see right here, we've got that piece grinded off. We're gonna proceed to do that to the next side. And one thing is, if you know that you're pulling the factory U-joint out of the front, you actually have to tor uh, torch it down. And these little stubs here, it oozes out, but uh, this is not the factory one, so we don't have to worry about that at all. Um, so we're just gonna continue to grind these off. Uh, we'll get the other side, and then we're gonna pound that out. Replace this one, and then we'll move to the back one, and then we'll put it back in. Always wear. Uh, some type of eye protection while you're grinding and uh, stay clear from dry grass. All right, got the U-joint out of there. Pretty simple. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna all clean this up real well, that way it's easy to slide the new one in. All right, so here we're at the rear U-joint. Uh, Normally you can just kind of beat the, um, the snot out of it and you can punch it right through, uh, but we're just gonna grind it off since we have a grinder, so we're gonna do that. And then we can put the other one on. This one's a lot simpler than the front. Uh, you just pull it out, put the new one in, just like the other one. Uh, but this is a lot easier to do the rear one, but we're doing both today, so. All right, so if you look at this right here, you can get a good view. Um, you got that little pit, that little line, a little uh, crevice there. Actually, when you get it from the factory, um, that is filled with rubber. 
and you, if it's a factory U joint, you have to torch it. And then you got this little hole on the side here. I'm sure that you can see that right there, right above that. And uh, you torch it and it oozes out. And that's how you're supposed to pull the factory ones out. But this one obviously wasn't the factory one. Um, but that's what the little crevice is there for. Just like that. All right, we got that removed. Uh, and that's about it. So now we'll get towards uh, putting a new one in. And uh, that'll be part two. Take care.